Sports Fight Against Cancer happened right here in Houston. I'm Lauren Freeman. And I'm Jonathan Martinez. The longtime broadcaster had just been inducted into the Sports Broadcasting Hall of Fame this week. Channel 2's Jennifer Bowers live now at MD Anderson Cancer Center where Sager received some of his treatment. Jennifer. Well, Craig Sager was a broadcasting legend beloved by both athletes and sports fans alike. He was diagnosed with leukemia in April of 2014, and he had several bone marrow transplants right here at MD Anderson. In fact, he even bragged that he was receiving the best care in the world. He came to Houston specifically to be treated by MD Anderson doctors, but sadly, in March of this year, he announced his cancer was no longer in remission. He he sat down and talked with our own health reporter Haley Hernandez and told her that doctors had asked him to avoid public appearances because of his failing health, but he admitted that he ignored that request for a chance to see, to see Team USA basketball players at the Toyota Center during an exhibition game this past summer. I heard you're a little sneaky. Oh no. You got out once. once. Like an inmate. You know, it caught me <laughs> once. I was watching my blood drip and get my transfusion and the USA teams in town had them unhook me and uh, I said so I was going for a walk. You know, I walked in the Toyota Center and they gave me a standing ovation, put me on the board up above and then Coach K asked me to speak to the team and I did that and then the next day it was all over the internet. Sager worked basketball games for TNT for nearly a quarter century. He was 65 years old. We're live at the Medical Center. I'm Jennifer Bauer, KPRC, Channel 2 News. You will be missed, Jennifer. Thank you. We're following some breaking news right now. Sky 2 over the Southwest Freeway, where an overturned truck is slowing traffic. This is on the northbound.